up guys i know i've been going for a little bit man but i'm finally back with another review things have been crazy on my second channel check that out if y'all get a chance because i've been trying to be as consistent as i can on both but it's tough man it's challenging it's challenging i'm leaving a link to the second channel down below in the description subscribe to that if you haven't already done that but today i'm bringing another early review to the channel we got the air jordan 13 brave blue in studio and it's an early pair it's not always easy getting these early pairs so hit the thumbs up button bro but like i said earlier i'm excited to talk about this because i'm kind of up in the air with it so without further ado let me stop talking and let's get into it here we have the air jordan 13 brave blue <music> Yeah, here we have the Air Jordan 13 Brave Blue. Um, this box is pretty much the regular Air Jordan 13 box we will get. We usually either get a black box or we get like a silver box with the iconic Jordan brand logo with like the indented circle in the middle of the box. So I like the fact that they decided to go with a regular box. Um, it's shiny, it's nice, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too much, nothing too crazy to talk about. I gotta thank Hype 24 seven for sending over the sneaker for me to be able to even give it to you guys early. So check them out down below as well. It's a sneaker store here in Atlanta. You guys can buy online if you're not local and they have literally everything from early sneakers to brand new sneakers. Check them out when you get a chance. Now this is what I've been waiting for, right? Let me peel this back. Let me, let me pull this out, you know what I'm saying? And oh my good, oh my goodness. All right, we finally got it. The Air Jordan 13 Brave Blue. This is what we came to see. This is what we came to talk about. Now, I got a lot of opinions, and I think like a lot of my latest videos have been very opinionated. And yo, I ain't gonna lie, y'all been kind of tweaking lately. Either some of y'all been on my side completely, or y'all just been against everything I've been talking about. From me saying shoes like the Air Jordan 12 playoffs was kind of underrated. I even said that I did not like that Air Jordan 5. What was it? Like the Jade 5 Horizon. It was a terrible shoe. And I stand by that. And majority of the comments was just saying that it was good. Oh, so pretty much my last three uploads have been like very controversial. And I hate to say it, this might be controversial as well. Before we even get into the review, before we start talking about the material, the colorway, the uh, ideology behind the shoe, I gotta say, bruh, as a Jordan fan, this was completely unnecessary. Now look, before y'all go get y'all feelings, okay, I appreciate the Air Jordan 13 for what it is, and I love it. But this sneaker was originally released in, I believe it was 1998. Let me fact check that, let me fact check that. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right, 1998. Now if you like me, I was kind of confused because when I seen this shoe like out, or when I seen it was about to be released, I was like, yo, I. I've seen this like way more recently. And that's because Jordan Brand put out a mid or a low, you can call it, the Air Jordan 13 low brave blue a few years ago. Now we all know like when it comes to Air Jordan lows, some of the worst Air Jordan lows are like, you know, Air Jordan 6 lows, Air Jordan 13 lows. Like when it gets to like certain lows, it's like, we really don't need those. And not only did we not need this shoe in a low, I just don't think we need this shoe in a high for a few reasons. Number one reason is to me, this shoe is nothing more than just another version of an Air Jordan 13 Flint. As we can see the Air Jordan 13 Flint, I mean, my pair kind of beat up. This pair is like from what, 2012, I believe, 2010, I forget what year, but it's old, okay? It's old, it's not even like the most current release. It's not topping this shoe. It's almost like an alternate. If you look at the Brave Blue, it's like an alternate Air Jordan 13 Flint. And I just feel like we really don't need it. I feel like this Flint is beautiful. It's a great shoe. Pretty much the material and the ideology is the same. I mean, they swapped out the Flint gray for black, but they kept pretty much the upper colorway the exact same. They put 3M on the side panel the exact same way. I want to say this right before y'all like go crazy in the comments if y'all don't agree. At least appreciate the fact that when I do these reviews, bro, I don't cap to y'all. Like, I know it's a lot of people who do sneaker reviews, and it, just like me, you know, I get sent shoes from Puma, uh, Nike. I've been sent shoes from Reebok, Foot Locker, you name it. But I'm always going to keep it a buck on my platform, bro. Like, when I make content, my main idea or my main purpose is not to just give you a review. It's like my honest opinion. And if I'm not rocking with something... I'm gonna let y'all know, bro. Just know when you come to this channel, bro, hey, look, I ain't about to sit here and say, ah, oh, man, it's amazing. Nah, it ain't like that, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. So pretty much the outside of the sneaker is 
pretty standard. It's our regular Air Jordan 13 outer sole. And for the people who don't know, the Air Jordan 13 was actually uh, made after the model of a Panther. It was a Panther or a Panther type theme. That's why Jordan got like the nickname Black Cat. Even if you look at the outer sole of the shoe, it kind of got like a Panther almost type paw print or at least like a paw claw on the bottom also. I always thought that was pretty cool. As we go up to the midsole, we do get some good material because the suede nubuck on the black right here on the upper feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it even feels better than the suede that was actually on the Air Jordan 13 Flint. So, I mean, that's a plus. As we go up to the upper, now we get the same exact colorway that the Air Jordan 13 Flint has. This blue that's on the entire upper is damn near spot on to an Air Jordan Flint, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. As we all know, it's always 3M material on the uppers. So this entire blue right here on the uppers is entirely 3M. It's very hard for me to catch 3M footage on B-roll. So I probably won't have that. Apologize, but it's, it's hard. You can't just like shine a flashlight on it. You literally have to like take a photo of it, which is kind of hard to mimic in photos, but the entire upper is 3M if you into that. Even the toe box. I mean, the toe box is exactly the same type of material that they put on the Air Jordan 13 Flint. And I mean, it's nicely tumbled almost. It kind of gives you like that tumbled effect. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you should be able to see like some of the details in the leather on the toe box. They kind of show you, you know, at least they try to do a good job. It's still pretty hard and stiff. It's not soft and plush at all, but um, you can definitely see almost like the quality of the leather you know, it's, it's all right. One of the coolest parts about the Air Jordan 13 to me is like the holographic Air Jordan 23 logo that's on the heel. And this is actually supposed to be almost a recreation of an eye of a cat, right? You know, like the eye of a cat is kind of marbly, marble-like. It kind of glistens and gives you like a few holographic looks. I believe that they tried to emulate that on the Air Jordan 13. So that's why we get like the holographic look on the back heel of the shoe. Air Jordan Jumpman in like a lighter blue than the upper is. It's almost like a UNC blue maybe a tad bit darker and of course we get the jordan step at the bottom of the laces so this sneaker will retail for the price of 200 dollars. and when i actually looked up the price online it also told me that the release date was this month april 30th so guys let me know if y'all gonna be looking forward to this release is it something that you had on your calendar i highly doubt you know like i'll be i don't be knowing who be capping or who be keeping a buck in a lot of these videos man i just feel like a lot of y'all in the comments bitch a lot of y'all be capping, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Some people like, yo, man, you know, uh, I've been waiting for this J5 release for a year. And I'm just like, relax. Okay? Relax. I don't believe it. And if you're telling me that you had this on your board, like you had to grab them, they like a must cop, you just must be like an Air Jordan 13 fan. Or maybe this is like, you know, this released brung back some memories from 98 maybe your old head who just want to go in the time capsule and pretty much cop some old shoes that kind of gave you you know uh, a tom reference which is cool i've done that before you know what i'm saying not in 98 you know what i'm saying i wasn't even too old back then but i'm saying i've copped sneakers in my past before that kind of brung me back to a certain place so I can get that. This is what I want y'all to do in the comments if you made it this far into the video. Number one, if you made it this far into the video, bruh, I want you to spam Brave Blue in the comments if you made it this far. But if you made it this far, let me know, is this shoe necessary? And that's all I need y'all to do. I'm looking over the comments today. I'm reading them. I ain't got nothing else to do. I really want to know if y'all think that this shoe is necessary. And more importantly, will you be picking these up? And uh, that's pretty much my opinions on this one, bruh. I'm not too high on it. Not too low on it. I don't feel like they needed it. And, you know, I don't really want to run that point into the ground. So I'm curious to hear y'all thoughts. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, I know I've been away for like a few weeks, but we back to work, man. We picking it back up. We back to work. I love you guys. I love the channel. Even though my other channel is seeing a lot of success right now, I still will continue to still be the same guy that y'all know coming through, doing these sneaker reviews and giving y'all the best content I possibly can, man. So thank y'all. Until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. And you know, I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.